Hi, my name is Muhammad Omar, and this video is part of Microsoft Visual Studio 2012 Application Lifecycle Management, brought to you by Microsoft. In this lab, you will learn how unit testing is being completely revamped in Visual Studio 2012. By making the unit testing engine in Visual Studio extensible, Visual Studio 2012 will open the door for third-party unit testing adapters, such as NUnit and XUnit.net. You will also learn about how the new code clone capabilities goes hand-in-hand -hand with delivering high-quality software by helping you identify blocks of semantically similar code which may be candidates for common bug fixes or refactoring. In order to complete this lab, you will need the Visual Studio 2012 virtual machine provided by Microsoft. For information on acquiring and using this virtual machine, please use, use this link. This hands-on lab includes the following exercises. Unit testing, code clone analysis. Exercise 1, unit testing. In this exercise, you will learn about some of the improvements made to unit testing story in Visual Studio 2012, including performance and extensibility improvements. So let's start by logging to the virtual machine. We're going to use the username Julia. The password is capital B 2 SS W 0 RD. Let's open Visual Studio. From the link provided in the taskbar or from start all programs microsoft visual studio 2012 visual studio 2012 let's open the fabric and fiber dot call center solution from the dev branch in the source control explorer to open the source, source control explorer choose view from the menu Other windows, Source Control Explorer. Let's expand Fabric and Fiber. Expand the div branch. Expand Fabric and Fiber call center. And double click on Fabric and Fiber call center SLM. Now that the solution is open, let's open this explorer window from test menu windows test explorer. Now let's try to build solution. Let's select build and build solution from the menu. Start process of discovering new test units and code change that may affect existing tests. Note that the discovered tests are initial set to the not run status. Let's, let's try to select them all. Except for the code UI test method one. Because if we selected that, you will we will have to sit through a code UI test without using the keyboard and mouse. So let's try to click on the selected tests, then select run. Run selected tests. Please note that Visual Studio 2012 also provide a continuous test runner functionality that can be enabled with test, test setting, run test after build option from here. Test. Test.
test setting run test after build with this option selected test will always run after builds let's try to expand the bus test group let's double click on create insert customer and saves that opened the source control for this for this test unit in the custom controller test note that the test method that we clicked on uses the test method attribute that is used by ms test to mark unit tests let's try to search inside the test explorer in the test explorer let's type index press enter Note the available search filters. In the search result, let's double click on index return null, null view. It will open the source the source source code. In the home controller test file that opens you can see that the index re returns non null view test actually uses the x unit testing framework the latest x unit adapter for visual studio 2012 can be found on the visual studio gallery site at this link let's clear the current search box in the test explorer by clicking on the x button now note that the results are grouped by test passed and failed with execution time listed Test execution performance has been given some additional attention in Visual Studio 2012. Let's take note of the execution time, then let's run the, the tests again. Click on run, repeat last, run. Now let's note the differences in execution time. As you can see, the first time you run unit tests, they will execute more slowly than on subsequent runs as the tests and testing engine are being loaded for the first time. So basically, second test run without changes to tests is faster. Now let's single click the fail test to view a summary of test results. You can always right click on the test result and use the copy command to copy details to the clipboard this would be useful when sending an email for example the summary view of the failed test run shows that an argument null exception occurred during the test run and even provides a stack trace at the time of the exception note that we can follow links to go directly to the source code for the test or to points within the stack trace Select the source link to go to the source code for the test method. Now let's find the line that's comment commented and uncommented. Let's assume that this is the root cause for the field test. Control K, con Control U. Click save. Or press Control S. Now let's try to run the test method again to make sure that the, that the error is fixed. Right click on the, on the failed test and select run selected tests. Now it passed. Let's close the test explorer window. And that's the end of exercise one. Exercise 2 Good Clone Analysis In this exercise you will learn about the new Good Clone Analysis feature in Visual Studio 2012. This tool looks for semantically similar code using heuristic search technique rather than simply searching for exact matches. Let's get back to Visual Studio. Select Analyze 
a light solution for good clones. Once the, anal the analysis is complete, the good clone analysis result window will show clone candidates grouped by match strengths. Expand the strong match group to expose the two files that had a strong match. Each line shows the class and method, specific file and line that were determined to be strong matches. If you mouse over each match, a snippet of code gives you a quick glance at some of the matching code. Let's double click on each match to open them in a code editor windows. Now let's right click on a tile tab for one of them, each one, and choose new horizontal tab group. So let's scroll the code for the, the method assign schedule for both of the files. Note that it's almost identical. Except for the last call for the method redirect to action. This kind of broad search is particularly useful when looking for code that can be refactored for easier maintenance in the future. Let's close all the documents by choosing window, close all documents. You can also narrow the focus of the search for code clones if desired. So let's go to Solution Explorer, expand fabric and fiber .web, expand controllers folder, and double click on con customer controller to open, to open the source code. Just scroll down to create post action, action method. Now let's, let's select these this three lines of code and right click and choose finding matching clones in solution. As you can see, after the search is complete, the code clone search result window shows a snippet of, of matches for varying strengths. Let's try to expand the clone groups to, discover, to, to expose the discovered clone matches. Now if you hold the, mo the mouse cursor over the exact match result, and note that the edit method uses exactly the same code as the code from the create method. Now let's let's hover again the mouse cursor over the strong match. Result and note that the only difference is that the first line is a call to a delete method. Now the medium match the snippet is similar to the original but now we are working with an entirely different object. In summary, there are three main scenarios where the identification of code clones may be useful to developers. First one is identification of candidates for code refactoring. Bug fixes or enhancement are made in code and the developer wants to see if there are other similar locations that should be updated. As a learning tool for a new developer starting working on a new team project, by example, the developer adds code to update customer record and wants to see if there are practices used by the rest of the, the code base, such as using try, catch, pluck. 
That's the end of the exercise 2 and the end of the lab. Thank you for watching.